Hi all, welcome to the Cloud Magica. Today we are going to discuss Big Data Module 1. And today's agenda is Data Format, Units of Measurement, Evolution of Big Data, What is Big Data, Characteristics of Big Data, Big Data Statistics, Sources of Big Data, and then we will do the Recap. So, right now we are in Session 1 of Module 1. So, what is data? Data is basically raw form of information which can be collected and analyzed to create information suitable for making decisions. So what is format of data? We are living in a data world where 10 to 20 percent data is only structured data and rest 80 to 90 percent data are unstructured or semi-structured data. So, semi-structured data plus unstructured data together makes 80 to 90 percent of data. Traditional data warehouses built on top of relational databases and are well suited for structured data. But Hadoop is for all. Now we can understand that in Hadoop world, data can be structured data, semi-structured data, and unstructured data. So what is unstructured data? Of course, the Unstructured data is basically some piece of information that does not sit in a traditional row column database. As we can understand by name that Unstructured data is something which is just opposite of structured data. Wikipedia says unstructured data or unstructured information refers to information that either does not have a predefined data model or is not organized in a predefined manner. Unstructured information is typically text heavy. We can consider Word document, PowerPoint presentation, newsletters, source code, hard copy documents, images, and graphics as an unstructured data. Unstructured data can be textual or non-textual. Can be textual or non textual textual unstructured data are like email messages powerpoint presentation word document and instant messages and Non-textual unstructured data can be media like MP3, JPG images, MP4 videos, flash videos, and so on. These type of files may have an internal structure 
but they are still considered unstructured because the data they contain does not exactly fit in a database and tragedy is that experts estimate that 80 to 90% of the data in any organization is unstructured data and the amount of unstructured data in enterprises is growing at very high speed in many scenarios you will not always get all the relevant information in structured format and you may have to analyze your unstructured data to make the decision to make the decision so if data is categorized in unstructured format then it does not mean that unstructured data is useless it means you may have to work hard to fetch the important and required information the huge volume of unmanaged unstructured data that generates each and every day within an enterprise can be costly in terms of storage and in terms of analysis the information available in unstructured data is not always easy to locate enterprise data which can have both electronic and hard copy documents organization uses different software tools to help them to organize and manage unstructured data software like hadoop can efficiently process unstructured and structured data that are that are extremely large large very complex and changing rapidly so i hope you have understood unstructured data so let's discuss what is structured data so entire world knows that big data contains unstructured data but most of them are in doubt that does big data handles structured data as well the term structured data generally refers to data that has a defined length and format for big data structured data has advantage of being easily entered stored queried and analyzed few years ago because of the high cost of storage and memory and performance limitations of processor and hard drives relational databases were the only option to effectively manage data structured data refers to the data which is having a predefined data model or having a schema or having a structure 
structured data is easily manageable and can be consumed using the traditional tools best example is your mysql or oracle relational database in relational model database would contain a schema and the data is stored in a table that is a structural representation of data For example, in a relational database, the schema defines the table, the fields in the table, and the relationship between the tables. Fields in the table and relationship between the tables, and the data is stored in column. In the current image, the first table stores user information. and the second table stores task information this is a task id and this is a task description each has various attributes each table can be updated with new data data can be deleted can be read and can be updated This is often accomplished in a relational model using a structured query language. So I hope structured data is clear now. So let's see what is semi-structured data. Apart from structured and unstructured data, we also have a third category. and that is semi structured data semi structured data is basically information that does not sit in a relational database but that does have some organizational properties that make it easier to analyze example of semi structured data might include xml json and no sql databases so let's discuss units of measurement the smallest unit of measurement used for measuring data is a bit a single bit can have a value of either 0 or 1 a byte is equal to 8 bits and is used as the fundamental unit of measurement for data we can see 1 kilobyte is equal to 1000 bytes 1 megabyte is equal to 1000 kilobyte 1 gigabyte is equal to 1000 mb 1 terabyte is equal to 1000 gb 1 petabyte is equal to 1000 terabyte 1 exabyte is equal to 1000 petabyte 1 jettabyte is equal to 1000 exabyte and the last one 1 yottabyte is equal to 1000 jettabyte so let's see what is big data so 
in last five years we have generated most of the data and exponentially data generation is increasing due to latest and high-tech devices we can see 10 years back Hadoop was not needed because data generation was under control but in last five years everything has changed we all having smartphones with high speed internet connectivity and we know that smartphones having multiple sensors one may be to connect the call and another may be to connect with GPS offline or online I just wanted to say that it does not matter your smartphone is having internet connectivity or not but those all sensors are generating the data at same time suppose 5 billion people are using smartphones and all smartphones sensor are producing data 24 by 7 so just assume how rapidly data is growing suppose only half billion 0 0.5 billion people is really active on internet and continuously doing chatting on whatsapp or sending email or making calls on Skype uploading videos on YouTube uploading pics on Facebook and Picasa doing tweets making Google search the thing I wanted to say that you know or not but since last five to ten years you are the part of producing tremendous data maybe when you are applying for the credit card or home loan then you are filling the hard copy of the form but bank is keeping your data in scanned format in computer and that is producing data so basically if you are doing online transaction or withdrawing money from ATM that is producing data because bank has to maintain your transaction details bank has to maintain your transaction details the biggest problem is that all this data is not in structured format mostly we are dealing with semi or unstructured data now these data are somehow produced by human but the data which are produced by high-tech devices which are much much more than data produced by human being and I will tell you that it is the best time to learn Hadoop because millions of jobs is going to produce in next two three years in big data world and many companies are already using big data